Hello, I'm the Bastard, and welcome back to our now semi-disastrous playthrough of uh, XCOM Enemy Within in classic Iron Man. So, last episode, we... we th there was a problem. There was a few problems. Uh, there, were, there were, in fact, mainly... you could say there were four problems. These four problems. So, uh, our entire team was wiped out on the now infamous Operation Crystal Stallion. And I can't help but notice that uh, at least two of them seem to have been wiped out by unknown major trauma, uh, which seems an odd way to put the fact that they were shot in the face with the outsider. But um, I am wondering somewhat if that is linked to the fact to the hideous, hideous bug um, that caused the outsider to have borderline impenetrable cover while being able to uh, fully see my guys. Anyway, we've learned a couple of things from that. Number one is... Uh, Basically, I need to uh, be more willing to reposition myself if I'm in a poor position. I could have, I think, probably moved around and, um, and tried to go into the UFO from the left, taking out those thin men on the way, put myself in a much better position. The second was that when I had an over tra overwatch trap in place, I probably could have let that ride for a few more turns just to try and pull that outsider out into, uh, into a field of fire. Um, the third one is that I really, as soon as those two rookies were dead, I should have just bugged out. I should have just left. Uh, left because there was no real way that um, that poor old Corline and Saito were going to uh, to going to win that. So I probably should have bugged out at that point. But lessons learned, and hopefully the loss that we have suffered won't prove uh, decisive. Uh, the other thing to uh, to worry about is we do not have an overabundance of soldiers now. Uh, we also don't have any cash. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to do upon getting some is uh, going to hire some new ones. We do have uh, have uh, rookie Normando Normando now, uh, named for the in the you know notorious uh, Normando the Builder from uh, from my banished playthroughs. Um, yeah, so I guess there's nothing to do but um, wait to see who dies next. Commander, we're receiving uh, a transmission from the council. I have a horrible feeling this is going to be the uh, first uh, installment of Operation Slingshot, which could be interesting at this point. Could be interesting. No, it's the first of Operation Progeny, uh, which is equally quite awkward. But, you know, fuck it. What am I going to do? Not go on it? <laughs> Maybe. But, uh, no. Okay, fine. And you know what? We are going to take probably our best team. We're probably going to take our best team. So that's Craig. We need an assault. Uh, let's take the Canadian killer. And good old Tony Blair, our sniper. With hair that seemed to morph into place on his head for a second there. So our only support, Justin, is wounded. So we need to take someone else, and you know what? I am um, probably yeah. I'm going to take the other heavy, and that way I get two rockets. Hurrah! Uh, so uh, our sniper, you can take a scope. Our assault can take that one of the nano fiber vests. Hmm. So we're bugging out going on my soldier images at the moment. Uh, Gaza, you can keep that frag grenade. Always have handy to have one. Yeah, some weird, uh, weird bugging out going on with the equipment thing there. And Craig, you can take the med kit. Okay, let's do this and probably die horribly, but fine. Sending an urgent mission request. Operation Driving Druid? Well, at least it's alliteration. That's the best I can hope for. Now, if I recall this correctly, nothing spawns until you uh, reach a, uh, a citizen over there who you need to rescue. A dubious citizen. Secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. New objective received. Roger that. I think I'm right in saying that, but I am going to be careful just in case. Heading there now. Or 
Pretty sure there's uh, there's no alien activity until, uh, well maybe there is, being as uh, that didn't move by absolutely immediately. Oh, I am wrong. There we go. So, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. He's in full cover. What I really want you to do here, Craig, is not die. Can you manage that for me? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. That'd be good. It would be good. I'd appreciate it, you know? find some decent cover here. Well, I suppose that will do and then I can always uh, sneak up further, maybe do a good run and gun next time round. And you know what? We're going to go in overwatch there. We'll go into overwatch there just in case someone dashes around here, which they won't do, but never mind. We'll go into pistol overwatch there. And Craig is going to suppress him. Just you try and do something. Heart stopped for a moment. Oh well. Blue Way's cover. That's not good. Oh no, he's technically still in full cover, but I don't really trust that. I'm not sure why I can't see him anymore either. Oh well. Yeah, somewhat worrying go there I can get into cover so let's uh, let's just see what we can see by doing pushing Amanda out oh god hmm okay let's uh, tell you what we'll do actually we will run and gun and then we will move here and go into Overwatch. Hopefully we can blast anything that comes around there. Uh, we'll switch. Will we be able to be flanked from there? Probably not. So with that in mind we'll move up good old Tony. And we'll go into Overwatch there. I do not trust that it says I'm still in still in cover there. I really do not. I really, really do not. Um, okay. Whew, time for a rocket. I don't want to waste them. Uh, we're actually going to move there. And go into Overwatch. Or shall we reload? We probably need to reload there. In case we need to do another suppression. Uh, yeah. 47 percent. Worth Overwatch to lock him down, or worth trying to kill him? Oh, I've got to start getting kill shots. No, no way. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. I do not. Fantastic. Good job, good job. Yikes. Oh, God. Fuck. Thanks for that, Tony. Good effort, mate. Good effort. This isn't going well. It's not going well. I 
need to take him out. I don't have run and gun. Can I get up there anyway? For a cheap shot? No. Not for a guaranteed one. And with that in mind... See what? Uh, see, I'm worried now because he needs to be healed, and Craig needs to be healed. But there's only one med kit, so that's interesting in and of itself. Hmm. Forty-five percent. Rubbish. Okay. <sighs> Come on, Tony. Come on. Yes. Oh god! Yeah, this uh, it's not going great. Not going great. It's gone better, all in all. Ready to rock. That's a perfect. Oh boy! So choices, choices. Now, uh, poisoning. Does poisoning wear off after some time? Oh, well, he's panicked. Oh, yeah, that, that that wasn't really what I needed. What? Oh. Right. This, uh, this isn't going well. This is not going well. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm um, I'm I'm going to move back to the ship, and I'm I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave, really. Just going to go, and yeah, just going to go. Still poisoned. The others haven't panicked, so I stand a chance of healing Tony before he dies. So everyone's going to get out of here alive, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh god. Am I cut out for classic, guys? Am I cut out for classic difficulty? It would be quite worrying if I wasn't, because I was planning on doing a, uh, a long war playthrough after this, and I think every setting on that is tougher than classic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely leaving. Though, there's absolutely no way uh, I come out of this any, any way but a wipe. If I, uh, if I carry on, I fear. Yeah, absolutely. There's just no way that that. Panic attack chain completely and utterly um, destroyed me, left me just wrecked. Yeah, there's uh, there's no way this is going to work. Both of my heavies are down to one. Yeah, just um, not going to work. Not going to work. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, I am facing a situation in which. Pretty soon, it it may be insurmountable. My my situation may be insurmountable. I may have to restart XCOM, <laughs> um, which is bad. So few missions in. Uh, yeah, that I mean, look at that. Look at that wounded. Let, let's just have a look. Oh, they're great at badge. Um, let's just look at my soldier roster. Look, I yeah, I have three soldiers available. Three soldiers available. That's not good, guys. That's not good. Um, I'm not sure what to do, to be honest. I'm not sure whether to uh, call that a day and wrap up this XCON playthrough and start off another one. Or 
um, to carry on and then see where we go until until we, you know, uh, I'd say, well, for this episode at least, let's, uh, this is unlikely to end well. Well, we downed it, um, but I, I don't think we can actually send a team. We're in no, not until Justin uh, recovers. New the soon. Not until, uh, not or unless we. Um, okay, I can't remember how much it is to uh, hire a new soldier, but uh, uh, we'll find out. We will find out. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay. Does it take some time for them to arrive? It does. It takes three days. Oh well, that's pointless. Uh, if uh, if Justin gets back in action before uh, in time, we we might go along there and just see how we do. Um, I mean, awfully is the answer to that question, but. Um, Got, got a few things there, a few things which uh, we won't be able to use. Hmm. Experimental warfare for us. And how's uh, how's Justin looking? See, he is he is fit for service again, as much as any of my uh, any of my soldiers are fit for service. And this is a medium sized one. And you know what? I'm feeling bold, uh, and by that I mean suicidal. And we're going to. Uh, we, it would be a crime, to be fair, to at least at least see how Normando is going to do. So we will uh, we will do that. We will. Uh, I'll tell you what. We will give Normando a scope as well, because uh, nothing says Normando like I just hit that shock commander. Yep, that uh, that looks good to me. Uh, for a very given meaning of good. Come on. Operation Rotting Days. <laughs> well, Crystal Stallion sounded good, and Rotting Days sounds awful. So maybe, maybe this will be fantastic. This this can only work out well. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, this this. I, there is no, there is no circumstance in which this doesn't become awful. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Time to. Uh... Oh, floaters. Would have much preferred not to have tr triggered anything there. So it goes. And what do we do? We've got 52% from Justin there. We've probably got absolutely fucking nothing from Fisher. Ten and twenty-six. No real viable run and gun options. So we're gonna hunker. Normando, Normando. These guys are both in half cover. Half cover. But you know what? I'm not going to make it unless I make some semi-bold moves here. And with that in mind... These are my most valuable two soldiers right now. Oh. Oh. Well, but was that... No, that was not Normando. Okay. Okay, Normando could still pull this out of the bag. There are Normando. Normando. Don't lose it now, Normando. Yes. 
Not Mando. You are. Ah, oh, you're a, you're a beautiful man. Okay, let's um. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're running and gunning. And probably dying horribly. Come on. Ninety-four percent. There's no real way for Nomando to advance there. No real way for him to advance. Ooh. What level is his shot? 55%. I've got 55 and a 52. You know what? I'm going to take my chances. Yes! Normando! Normando! He's the man. He is the man. I am not going to advance. Uh, or I will push forward to there because there's definitely nothing to be seen from there. Go into a spot of a watch. Oh my god! Yes! Okay. Where's that other sectoid gone? He's down there, isn't he? I wonder if I can... I don't think I can see him from there. But I can certainly set up a flank. If he dashes around there, he's in real trouble. Real trouble. Okay. Normando, you need to be in better cover. You really do. Because you are the man. So, you can go there. Set a bit of a watch. Burn can move back here. Set up some mini watch trap there. It's worked for me in the past. And by that I mean it absolutely hasn't. Come on. Spencer. Yes! See, th th I don't like This is the calm before the storm, though. I mean, it, it, everything's going to be horrible. It really is. Uh, right, I need some visibility there. Oh, look at you. Oh, that was probably a fatal mistake. So it goes. Okay, fine. I'll get some forward motion going here. Right, Normando. Risking Normando. I'm risking Normando. Or am I? No, let's move there. Let's move there first. Let's move there. They've got uh, they've got the height there, and I don't like that. We'll continue our Overwatch trap here, even though they'll probably just kill the uh, assault, and uh, and then carry on moving forwards. Really? Oh, okay. oh yeah, there we go. Bye bye. Eesh. Fisher, Fisher, not Spencer. Doesn't matter now. She's dead. Normando, you've let me down. I am thoroughly disappointed in you, Normando. Justin, can you do any better? Mildly? Death? Nearly death. <laughs> oh, dear God. And what are my shots like from here? 55%? That's not too bad. Can you do it, Normando? Can you go out in a blaze of glory? No. No, you're crap. At this point, I don't really care. I'm just going to fire at him until everyone dies. Which looks like it won't be long, to be fair. So, you know. Good. Good. Bye-bye, Justin. Normando. Oh, you need to reload. That's terrible. But we're not retreating. No. Normando knows not the art of retreat. He might know the art of falling on the floor dead, though. Suppressed! Grand. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Can you fin can you finish with a kill? You can! Of course you can. You're no man though. Death? No. Oh. Maybe Normando will finish this. Finish this on his own. Where can we go? We can't really go anywhere, to be honest. But you know, we'll be bold. We'll be bold. This game is over now. <laughs> it seems very obvious that this game is completely over now. So um, I'm uh, I'm comfortable having a last brave charge with Nomando. Hunt down this alien. Win a moral victory for us, Normando. A moral victory. Come on, this is tense. Tense stuff. Primarily because it doesn't matter. Probably going to run straight into his Overwatch trap and die. But, you know, if I do that, at least I'll uh, do that. Yeah, come on. Die. That wasn't dying. That was in no way dying. Oh. Can you get closer, Normando? Can you get closer? You can. Come on. Oh, no Mando. He's just running. He's he is scared of the raw power of no Mando, as are we all. Hmm. Now where's he gone? That's uh, that's the question. Quite dangerous. I'm tempted, actually, to uh, head upstairs, get a bit of a vantage point on him. I have to win this now. This, this, this has to be a moral victory, or, uh, or I'll, I'll probably cry. Okay, come on now. Come on, make your way up. Get that vantage point. Get that vantage point, Normando. Get that height advantage working for you. No, die! Is that good enough? That's not good enough. Hmm. Will he be able to shoot me through that? I don't think so. Uh, but possibly. So I'll go there. Ooh. Okay. This is uh, this is tense. It's Normando versus Alien. Survive! Oh! God! Oh! Terrifying. 75%! Normando, do me proud! Yes! Oh! Oh my god. What? There's more? There's more aliens? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I, I thought that would be it, um, and I felt really good, and now I just have the grim inevitability of death awaiting me, uh, which is less good, it's less good, uh, it's definitely less good, I have no idea where they could be either, 
Oh, of course. Of course, this is a crashed spaceship. Uh, right then. Well then. Okay. Uh, outsider. <laughs> uh, We're green to go. Right. Let's uh, let's pitch Normando to his death against a uh, against an outsider, which is, which is really the only way this is now going to end. Oh, still he killed that thin man. He killed that thin man, and for that, we thank him for his bowl service. I could take him home, but uh, he'd only die when the aliens take over the Earth. Um, so you know he might as well just uh, face the enemy boldly now. Yeah, there's uh, there's no way this is uh, this is ending well. Oh! oh, if only he'd crit there. If only he'd crit there. That would be a, a major victory. Ooh, good lord. We still haven't. Oh, we have an opportunity for Normando to show his metal here. Oh, Normando, twenty-nine percent. Twenty-nine percent. Whoa! Normando. Normando. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. The pathos. The absolute pathos of this. Oh, we see Normando victorious over a thin man and an outsider by himself. And promoted, no doubt. But uh, XCOM as a whole, doomed. Doomed. Support. <laughs> Seems unlikely. It's not in your face and violent enough for the likes of Normando, the killing machine. Uh, so, shall we, guys, shall we look at our, our, our soldier roster? View soldiers. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're done. But um, for your service, Craig, Amanda, Rosario, Tony and, oh, of course, Normando, we thank you. XCOM thanks you. The world thanks you. But um, that will have to be it. I will uh, I will restart a new XCOM playthrough uh, with the lessons I've learned. Um, but probably still no more competence than I was before. But uh, so it goes. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll uh, see you on the next playthrough. Bye!